Okay, this is Prince DJ. Walmart is at it again. Okay, so I'm waiting on... Now, I have to wait on a couple of deliveries now because the first few items were the deliver, uh, are available. I'm not going to be a dummy and pick up the order and then be stranded at Walmart like that time before. I don't know who is that that just I saw. But the problem is, okay... They not show me who the driver is. Like usually, they will tell you who the driver is. They'll tell, they'll show you a map of where the driver is and everything like that. I don't know who the name of the driver. There's no way to contact the driver or nothing. Lyft will show you the driver. Grubhub will show the driver. Well, there's only uh, there's the only one time that Grubhub did that to me before. So this item was supposed to come back with uh, six items instead of the. Uh, other few that was supposed to come at uh, uh, 10 to 11. It's right now it's 10:29. I don't have no information on who the driver is or nothing. I mean, absolutely no information at all. Ah, oh, this guy wanted to open. But I mean, this is ridiculous. Oh. This is ridiculous. They not tell me who the hell the driver is or nothing. I'm out here waiting, like standing here waiting like a dummy. Okay. And I don't know who the driver is. I mean, out of all this time, I never had a problem where they won't show me who the driver is. I mean, I live on the eighth damn floor. I live on the eighth floor. So I will continue to cover this and I'll let you know if the driver comes and, and whatever like that. So now I, gotta, I gotta, now I gotta wait here like a dummy. I gotta wait here like a dummy. And I'm within my delivery window. I don't even know who they is. I don't even know what it is. So it's probably the car was one of my, one of my neighbors, I guess, obviously. So that's why I didn't see it. <sighs> because I'm trying to prepare for this stupid railroad strike. And the per- that was the purpose of me not only getting uh, a, a Sam Club, but also the other Walmart orders because uh, a food cart that I got from the health, uh, uh, one of the... Uh, uh, my uh, health and not health insurance, but the uh, health HMO. Um, you know, they gave me money for getting food, so I did it. And I was trying to get ready for because we don't know how long this strike is going to last, if if any. So I'm just standing here waiting like a dummy. That's what they want for this driver, this unknown driver. What I guess some ghost of Christmas past, present, and future is going to come deliver my order. Or some kind of ghost in general is going to deliver my order, huh? Or or the ghost of don't uh, call it uh, Oprah or Tassie or whatever at 3 a.m. is going to deliver my order, even though it's 10:31 in the morning, and we're in the middle of a winter victory all day. The winter victory started yesterday, and it's going to be until 9 uh, 9 p.m. So we're in the winter victory since yesterday, and then yesterday, and then t- 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 today, and it's ridiculous. It's absolutely ridiculous. And what is up with my luck at games all of a sudden? What in the world was my luck with games? I mean, even though I'm in a good match, good matches or something, drama meal like I usually like, and I still lose. I mean, I almost each and every game. The last time I wanted something really good was when I retired from the match game, okay? And that may automatically get me into the Tournament of Champions. So, uh, with the way we operate is, they, they, if, if uh, we want a certain amount of gain, or wind up making some kind of money amount, uh, and they get to retire, and they, uh, you know, they get to retire. And there's everybody coming in, except for my driver, which I don't even have no clue, no way telling. I mean, it could be Frosty the Snowman for all I know. It could be Red, Rudolph the Red Nose Rainier for all I know. I mean, come on, come on. This is so tacky. I mean, ever since they, they did this to me, where I had to pick up an order that wasn't available, okay? I had to pick up an order that wasn't available. And then, like that time that I was left stranded because they couldn't take me home. Oh, an update. They took my money that they were supposed to bring me from Walmart back here to the second palace. They took my money. And I can't even get it back to put it into the uh, uh, the lift cash. That was tacky. 
I, 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 I can't, I can't wait to next year. I can't, I really can't wait to next year. September or October of next year, I am really, I mean, I can't wait to get out of here. I really can't wait. Because <sighs> sometimes they usually have the driver come to the back, so that's why I'm standing out here in the back like an idiot. Walmart is winning. Walmart is winning. Okay. So hopefully sometime later is on, um, I will have the how I did week 11. Oh, and there's an update on the uh, uh, the judge's uh, uh, support rant that I did the other day. There is an update, and I tell you, it's almost like the game show to tell the truth. Okay, you, you know the the show that uh, the panelists have to identify uh, which which uh, of the which of the I don't know if you call it contestants or I guess it's someone that you have to guess which one is lying and which one is telling the truth. You know, it's usually at the end of the show they would say, "Well, the real so and so, please stand up." So this is like this. I'll tell you about that. And I'll give you an update on when I get both photos. Because I got to come back down here at 3 o'clock. I don't want to go through the charade of not knowing who the heck the driver is. And, oh, I got to be a psychic wait, waiting my, on, my, on my butt all day. I mean, it's ridiculous. It's absolutely ridiculous and appalling. So, I got everybody coming in back and forth. Going to tour from, except for my driver. Or well, not driver, but the liver one was supposed to get my order. Uh, tell me where's my fucking order at? Man. Anyway, so I will give you updates. I mean, Walmart is going down the tubes here in St. Louis. I mean, come on. What the heck, Walmart at St. Louis? I know it's better in Dallas because I've been there. Been there, done that, it works. Usually I'm the first one to get the order, usually. But Walmart here? Uh huh. But Walmart here? Oh, you're the last at the bottom of the bunch. And now they don't want to tell you what the driver is or who the driver is. What? Do I need to take them on a Steve Loco show to get a lie detector test on who the driver is, huh? Unbelievable. Uncrap unbelievable. So. I will give you an update. This is the up and a never ending saga between me and Walmart. And right now, the poor customer service because there are certain places that only that the card will be accepted online. And Walgreens and uh, you know Walgreens and some of the other stores, you have to go over there. But with the card that I got, I had no choice but to order from Walmart. I had no choice. I can't go to Amazon or I can't go to anywhere else. Now, it's the same thing as food stamp. Okay. Walmart, from my understanding, is the only one that could set food stamps online. My small, measly $23 that I get every month. So. Oh, my God almighty. Where is this person that I don't... Where is this ghost of Christmas present, past, and future that I'm supposed to be seeing? Huh? At least in the movie Scrooge, it just materialized, you know, in between segments. So, anyway, oh, I hope this damn strike doesn't happen. If it does, I'm gonna be really upset. Really upset. And then I had to split the orders because two of the items, especially my dream mints, because if they're gonna have to strike, I need dream mints because what if they don't ship it to the stores? I had to have my dream mint. So now I have to reorder it. Gotta go to play this whole crap again. Shoot. Hi. This is Big D Country on this windy day, but I'm inside. Sayonara.